Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This is Delano coming at you from the Wild Wild West. And today, we got we got some skip bearings. Skip bearings came in. Remember I told you I was going to try to get some skip bearings for these. For my uh, Big Lighter XLs I like to carry all the time. Absolutely love these knives, people. These have become my favorite button locks. Absolutely love them. Favorite button locks to carry and use every day. For everyday knives. I love the size of them. I like the weight of them. I like the way they handle. I like the way they operate. I just think they're excellent knives. Excellent knives. All right, so let's get busy. Let's check these out. I don't know where the bearings are, so I gotta sort of be kind of careful with this one. Oh, here's a note that I put in to um, Kaiser. My Kaiser Be My Big Lighter XL Plunge Lock Folder has double roll bearings cased in nylon cages that look like these. So I want to try these out for my favorite new button lock folder. I will let you know if they work. Stay tuned. Peace, Stiletto. And they said thank you for shopping with us. <laughs> Cage bearings. Pivot, pivot, six millimeter pivot, ceramic bearings with a quarter, one sixteenth inch height. Um, 18 in, 18 ball ball bearings, double row ball bearings. So let's check them out. Let's see if they work. Yeah, they are people. Got all this stuff out of the way. Now we gotta get to taking apart stuff, huh? Those look good. Now I don't know for sure if these are gonna fit. But we're gonna find out. We're gonna do we're gonna do purple rain first. That's eight millimeter, I'm sorry. Was I using ten? Eight millimeter. Purple way I Loctite it, so it was a little bit hard to get it apart. It's been staying perfect position. It hasn't gone out of um, position at all. Excellent knife, people. These are made exceptionally well, too. Highly recommend them. Oh, it's T8s everywhere? Okay. Except for the... Except for the... Um, Pocket clip, that's what it was. Pocket clip's T6. But we don't need to take apart the pocket clip today. Just need to do the body screws. We just need to get to the um, pivot. There they are. I'm curious to see if these are going to work. Now, nothing's wrong with the... With the um, Bearings that the knife comes with, I just prefer the phosphor bronze bearings from Skiff. I just like Skiff bearings. I, I, and what turned me on to Skiff bearings was using them in my um, 8010s, I mean 8020.5s, and 8020s model folders. I'm just going to try it dry first. I just want to see if everything fits. So far so good. It is a six millimeter pivot and I got the 
the outer diameter of the bearing looks like so far right. Oh, wow. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Take it apart again so you can see how it's fitting. Probably be easier for to show me, show you if it's. Let's see how this is milled out. The bearing fits perfectly. So I think these are going to work, people. I think these are going to work. Let me just put a little bit of lube and a little bit of grease on them just in case I don't want to take it apart again. <laughs> so I have a funny feeling it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good fit. But you don't know until you get all the way together. So far, so good. Everything's fitting so far. But you want to take, you want, you want to put it all the way together first. And the flat on this goes to the top, points to the top of the to the top of the handle instead of forward forward of the handle. Just put a little bit a little bit of lube on these. Oh man, this is exciting! This is gonna be so cool if these work perfectly. It will be super cool. A little dab of oil. Do the next bearing. Absolutely love these bag lighters, people. I think, you know, I'm gonna do a video showing all, all, all my old bag lighter. I mean, I'm at, my old bag lighters, my old um, button lock folders that I've been trying over the years and stuff like this. This has definitely become one of my most favorite ones out of all the ones I've ever tried. Why? Because it's easy to carry. It's not too heavy. I like the size of it. I like the size of the handle. I like the size of the blade. Let's relube the um, spring too. I like to put a little bit of oil inside of here because it helps hold the spring in place when you go to reassemble it. It also loops the spring. See now it'll stay in place now. Need a rag. <clears throat> Now these bearings I'm going to keep. I'm just going to put them back in here so I know what they came out of. Keep them just like that. I'm already putting stuff away because I'm pretty sure this is going to work, people. Got a lot of confidence in it. We got to put in the, I'm sorry, try to get this in first. Now with this, you got to get right in this little groove right here with the button, the plunger, put, put, pull it up, push it all the way in, and then you turn the blade a little bit and it helps hold it in place. Make sure your pivot's all the way in place too. Like so. That's the way you get started. And from there you can assemble it the rest of the way. absolutely love this knife. So look, at the, look at this liner. I just love the way this knife is made. It's a very well constructed knife. It's not like a cheap thrown together piece of junk knife. It's not like that at all. And I have had knives from China that were like that. And it turned me off to buying Chinese knives for a long time. I just re recently got back into trying out the Chinese knives. When I say, I have purchased knives from China, but they were through American manufacturers. But this is the first time I've gotten into um, 
trying out Chinese knives from the Chinese manufacturers as it's all been for me within the last couple of years. And the ones I've found that I really like are Civivi. I never had a Wii knife, but I have had lots of Civivis. And Sencut, Sencut's another good one. That's another, it's basically Civivi also. And CJRB and Artisan. I love the Artisan frame, titanium frame locks. I have a lot of those. But I shouldn't say a lot. Maybe like four or five of them or something like that. that and all of them I really like. Perfectly centered. Okay. No side to side, no up and down, no nothing. Perfect, people. We found the bearings for him. Oh ho oh, ho oh. oh, oh, oh. I absolutely love this knife. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with this one, people. The Kaiser Big Lighter XL. And that, that, now, like you all see me do, I've tried all of the ones that like fit my hand pretty much that have flippers. Because I believe in, in a knife having, you know, a weaker lock. I know that a, a, a plunge lock's not the strongest lock. I, I expect it to be stronger than, like, let's say a liner lock, but maybe not as strong as a frame lock, a good frame lock. <clears throat> but uh, the thing I like about it is that you don't have to put your hand in the way to open and close it. It's a fun, fun lock to, you know, it's a fun lock to operate, just like a compression lock, a shark lock, an axis lock, XR lock. They're all fun. Able lock, recoil lock, Ball bearing, uh, Spyderco ball bearing lock. They're all fun locks to, to open, you know, to have on knives. And once they get all broken in and, and everything, they're fun to open and close. This knife is perfect. Oh. oh. I know a lot of people don't like buying things from China nowadays. I understand that. I, I'm not. Tell them that you should, you know, think otherwise. Whatever, you know, you're free to think any way that you want to. We live in the United States, a country of free thinkers and free-willed people. But I must admit, though, this is one of my favorite knives of the year. The Big Lighter, uh, the Big Lighter XL. I always want to call it the Big Lighter 2. It's not the Big Lighter 2. It's the Big Lighter XL from Azo, designed by Azo, A-Z-O from Kaiser Knives, Kaiser Cutlery. Absolutely love this one, people. Let's do this other one real quick. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm, 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 I'm totally jazzed. These are the two I like to carry. I have another one with the, um, with the carbon, with the marbled carbon fiber handle scales. That one's going to be my collector. Why? Because it has bright um, liners. It has the polished liners. And these knives I like to carry as work knives to work. And so as you all know, I don't like to carry things that are bright to work or you know, it can possibly attract a, the wrong attention or a lot of attention. I like to be incognito. You know, I mean, I like to be undercover. There we go. This one's being a little bit stubborn. Hasn't been taken apart in a long time. There we go.
Now, as you can see, the bearings and the way it looks on the inside. And so I'm swapping out the nylon bearings. But these are good bearings too. You know, don't don't think that these are, are faulty bearings or anything like that. It's just that I become a, sort of like a bearing snob, I guess. I sort of I've gotten I, I like the skip bearings. So far, the skip bearings are like my favorite bearings. And I'll, as you guys know, I put them in all my own Demco knives. Every one of my Demco knives have skip bearings in them, except for two of the eighty twenty point fives because I wanted to keep them stock. But the other 80-20, all the other 80-20.5s, you can see what it looks like. It's a little dirty from usage. I'm going to clean it all out. But that's all that happens when you use grease. You know, and then when you clean it out, it looks like brand new again because the grease protected everything. It didn't allow the metal to, to wear against each other and, and, and wear out your parts on, on, your, on your knife and stuff. A lot of people don't like to use grease and oil. They want to use like dry lube type things. You know, that's cool too. But me, myself, I prefer old fashioned grease and old fashioned oil. Things that have always been proven and that have worked, you know, it's not experimental. <laughs> the experimental side of this, I guess, is that I like lithium based grease and oils. Because it seems like they adhere to the metals a little bit. Put like a coating on the metal and help protect the metals. See how, looked at, see how good the blade thing looks? No wear at all. Looks like brand new. And me, myself, I love this black powder coat. I love the black powder coat blades. I think, I think this is like a PVD that's been... Um, not, not, it's not black, did I say black powder coat? I like the black stone wash blades. Black stone wash blades, excuse me, people. Not black powder coat. I like the black stone wash blades. And I think this is a PVD that's been black stone that's been stone washed. It, it, this, this coating is like on here. It does, does not come off. I mean, I'm sure it will come off if you put it through like some super abrasive material or something like that. It's actually going to scratch the steel too. But, uh, you know, if you're not doing something like that, this, this, this coating will last. Because I have used this life, this knife a ton of times. Before I, got, before I made Purple Rain, this was one of my favorite knives to carry to work. I absolutely love the Beg Lighter, Beg Lighter XL. The Kaiser Beg Lighter XL. It's made in China. My Kaiser Cutlery in China. Absolutely awesome 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 folder for those of you that like like that like um plunge lock folders that want have always wanted something bigger because you know i love plunge lock folders too but most of them are too most you know plunge locks are usually used on smaller knives and the only, the only companies that really make them on bigger knives are like hogue that i know of i like i like my hogues the, the ex-01s and the ex-05s the x5s and the um and and they're also their autos but I, like, I carry manuals i don't carry autos and the other um company is um protech protech makes a lot of um blunt plunge like folders but they're very nice but they're also very hard to get and they're also very expensive so you know that's sort of like i have a couple of them and i i try for a year or two to get them and then i finally got them i wasn't really that i wasn't as that impressed i like this better I like the Big Lighter XL better than a, I'd rather have this one than a, a ProTec. Sure, the ProTec costs more. It's made in the United States, it's made in my state, it's made in California, and all that. But I'd rather have this. I like this better. I like the size of it. I like I like the way that it costs under hundred dollars. And it's got G10 handle scales. This one has Micarta handle scales. They're beautiful, and they have thick liners. These aren't some wimpy unheat treated liners these things are stiff and strong and they're two millimeters thick and these i think are pvd coated i love that it's a high quality high super high quality liner and for a plunge lock folder or access lock knife you want a good you want a good liner that's one that 
spots of the knife that you don't want to turn into a weak spot. I can't say enough good stuff about the bag lighter, people. I love it. Absolutely love it. Here's the bearings that we're using at work. If you guys want to get bearings for yours. Hey, sweetie, don't jump up on the table today. I got, got a bunch of little parts, okay? Juno's over here trying to join us. Okay. Oh, I just tossed them in there. I didn't put them in there. I always like to keep things in the in the in the packaging that that that, they, that the other parts came out of. But as you can see, when I saw this one, I, I, I compared it. You can see what I was seeing, looking at. Everything looked pretty much the same. I didn't really have a way to measure. I just sort of did it by eye, looking at it and reading the measurements. And I did try another another. Um, Six, you know, I have the six millimeter, and I think it's the quarter inch pivot bearings. And I tried them both, and I saw that it was a six millimeter pivot. And the rest of it, I just sort of did it by eye, because I could tell that by looking at these, it, that these were 18, 18 ball um, bearings also. Absolutely love these people. Highly, 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 highly recommend the Kaiser Bag, Bag Lighter XL. It's my favorite button lock of the year. And a lot of people are, you know, pretty much saying that they like the new Sin Cuts and and the new Civivis and all that. Those are I like those too, but those are smaller. And me, myself, I'm a big knife person. I like bigger knives. I don't like... Well, I like smaller knives, too, sometimes. But most of the times, you know, in all reality, I, I do like to carry bigger knives all the time. Especially if I'm only going to carry one knife. I usually will carry one big knife. <laughs> or when I say big knife, I'm saying like three and a half inches or bigger. Lots of times I'll just carry an AD 20.5 too. And that's a, pretty much the only one that I carry. You know, and then when I do that, I'm just going to work, you know, a place where I know there's not another, you know, a really any kind of threat of, of any kind of thing happening there or whatever. But I am one of those kind of people I like to stay armed all the time. So I always have to have something on me. This is because I am a person with disabilities. And my disabilities keep me from running away. So if something jumps off, I gotta stand there and fight. <laughs> That's the way I sort of look at things, people. I know it may sound kind of crazy, y'all. But, you know, that's the way I think. I do not, I never, I'm not the kind of person that, that plans on being somebody's victim. Trying to get to go back in this little slot and if I put it flat on the table. There we go. You turn it a little bit, hold it in place. Now you can assemble it the rest of the way. The other thing you want to do is like hold the pivot, make sure the pivot's in all the way. I just try to pop out right there. There we go. This one's trying to pop out, so I'm going to hold it a little bit. Go ahead and get started. Then once you got the liner on, then you pretty much got it.
There we go. Finally lined up with the little barrel spacers in the back. Now we can put our screws in and we'll be all done. T8s for body screws on this one. Like I said, this is a really nicely made knife, people. And if you're putting off getting one because of the Chinese thing, I think that's kind of, well, whatever. You know, teach his own. This is, you're missing out on this one. This was a really a great knife. For those of you that like plunge locks, have always wanted a little bit bigger plunge lock, this one has a 3.9 inch blade. Three point nine inch blade, people. Perfectly centered. Nope. Oh, I got a little bit. I got to go a little bit tighter. Got a little bit on that one. Okay, wasn't all the way tight. There we go. Now. No side to side, no up and down. It's like a fix. Feels like a fixed plate. Perfect. I'm gonna make it a little bit looser. Right about there. Cause I don't like to put too much pressure on the bearings. Still rock solid. Drop shuts. Skiff bearings, people. These are the skiffs. Told you I was going to try these out. I didn't know if they are going to work. And they work. And they work. They work perfectly. Skiff bearings, people. Those are the old bearings inside of there. And these are the new size of skiff bearings that you need. Here's what they look like. Highly recommend them. Skip bearings. I can't remember what I paid for them. I know it wasn't any more than I always pay for skip bearings. So if you ever bought skip bearings, they're the regular price for skip bearings. They're not some expensive price or anything like that. Absolutely love these nice people. I love the action on them. And they're good, you know, right hand or left handed. Right handed or left handed, I could I could I can do these. With the right hand, I like to use the front finger on the reverse flip. Instead of the middle finger, I use this, that finger. Excellent knives. Highly recommend them. Perfect. No up and down, no side to side. This is one of my favorite ones for work. Why? Because it's all blacked out. The deep, the deep carry pocket clip on these is perfect. This is my favorite for the year for out of all the plunge, new plunge locks, people. It's the one that if you want to get a plunge lock, I think this is this is a plunge lock that's not only just great for um, people who want to, don't want to spend too much money on one. I think it's good for people who, who do like to spend a lot of money on, on their knives. I think I think this is a nice nice knife regardless of, of of your income bracket or how much you want to spend or whatever. It's just a great knife.
this is this is just a great really this really is a great folder right here i would like to see um kaiser you know continue it with you know maybe you know different steel options and stuff like this these are 154 cm 3.9 inch blades that are made out of 154 cm the, the thickness is 3.2 millimeters the overall length is about nine inches excellent knives excellent knives four inch you know basically a four inch knife um, blade and five inch handle that's what you're getting here this one's made out of this one had white g10 I dyed royal purple with um, ripped synthetic royal purple rip royal purple dye. This one is the way they came from the factory, with the black stone wash blade. Both of these are, are high flat grounds, almost full flat grounds, and with Macarta handle scales. Absolutely love these. These feel both of these feel perfectly you know great in hand, and they don't tear up your pockets because they got sort of a smoother finish on the handle, so they're not pocket they're not pocket destroyers. And they fit real deeply into your pocket so you don't see anything but the pocket clip. And the pocket clip doesn't have any billboarding. It's not big and bogus, so it doesn't stand out any more than a pocket clip can. I highly recommend these. And these also have flippers. And for me, when I carry any kind of knife that's not a super heavy duty or strong type Loctite, I like to have at least a flipper that protects my hand in case the, the, the blade ever comes disengaged. The display comes disengaged as far as it's going to go, and it pops back into place. I think this is a fairly safe knife. I carry these all the time. I carry these all the time. Bag lighters have, the Bag Lighter XL has become pretty much my go-to for work for this past year, whenever I know I'm going to be doing some food prep. Excellent food prep knife. All right, people. And this is the Big Lighter XLs with the skiff bearings. Big Lighter F XLs with the skiff bearings. Six millimeter pivots with uh, 18, in 18 double row um, ceramic ball bearings encased in phosphor bronze cages that are 1 16th thick. All right, people. Peace out. Stiletto.